Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create your first app in Visual Studio. And this is very simple. Um, this app will uh, just show a message to user, and um, but it will cover the basic of creating an app. So let's start. The first uh, step is to, in the file menu, uh, new and then click on project in this over here you click on blank app and you need to type the name of your app so let's say my app and then click ok it will take some time uh, creating an uh, your app it and then you will see this screen uh, over here the main page dot xaml is your main page so if you double click on this it will take some time and then it will load the screen um, okay so over here I will show you um, the introduction of the environment of Visual Studio. So you can see the first row is a menu uh, which contains different option and uh, but at the moment I think it's not important because um, we will go into details of these options later on but for the moment uh, you can see the, the, the first row is a menu and the second row is a um, icons, uh, shortcut icons which you uh, can use. Uh, some of them we will use today and then you can see this area is basically your work area so you can see the screen over here so there's the screen that will exactly you will show on your uh, windows phone or on your windows machine then the next section is a solution explorer solution explorer is show you a tree diagram of your your uh, project um, so you can see over here it shows you solution my app then my app universal window and then there are different more files and then you see this main page dot xaml that's your main screen uh, the next section is properties the properties uh, is the section where you can set the properties of different controls on the screen so like, like let's say i've selected this page you can see the properties has been changed so these properties are related to this screen only you can see this screen over here so by default it has selected selected the phone screen you can select it uh, any anything from here let's say we start with a desktop 13.3 inch desktop and then you can see it has changed the layout of the screen according to that and um, then now I can add different controls on this uh, screen um, you can see there is a toolbox available over here so if I click on toolbox I have all these controls available so I can select as I start with the text box I click on text box and then I create text box over here so when I edit the text box, this you can see the properties window appear here that shows the name of the text box and then the other properties. Uh, I will show in a moment what are the basic property you need to set. So let's say you name the text box one and then Here I can set the text as my first app. And I can change the font name from here. I can select any font that I like. And then I select the size of the font. Maybe a little bigger bold and then 
here is my first screen so this is my first app and my first screen is ready and then I can view this on my computer and to do that I just need to click here you can see local machine there are different options available simulator local machine uh, remote machine device so let's let's say I, I want to run it on my local machine so I click on local machine and it will start compiling and in a moment it will show you how it will appear on on the screen so here you can see my first app appears on the screen and it by default it show a default window I can change this window I can resize and we change window and because this is a text box so I can edit this and I can type whatever I like so I can close this down so that's my first app and I for the moment I've made it just as simple as possible um, and we will go into details in um, other tutorials that I will going to create later on so if you want to learn your studio uh, windows 10 universal app development please subscribe to my channel and i will create more tutorials as soon as possible thank you very much